Hello everybody, so this will be a quick tutorial on how to import sprites into Undertale Mod Tool. We're clear as day. So, no more blurry sprites, none of that stuff. This will work for games like Undertale, Deltarune, Pizza Tower, and Anton Ball Deluxe. So for this we will be using Anton Ball Deluxe, which was just mentioned. So, first things first, you want to download Undertale Mod Tool. I'll leave a link to it in the description, and I'll leave, and I'll leave a note telling you which build to download. As that is, it's very important that you download a certain build. So first things first, what you want to do is you want to go over and first things first, open up your data.win. The data.win for Steam games should be in Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and then your game name here. So for this, we'll be using Anton Ball Deluxe. We'll open up the data.win. If it brings up anything like YoYo Compiler, just ignore this. We're not going to be messing with the code. Only the sprites. So then you want to go to scripts, resource unpacker, and then go to export all sprites. And when this pops up, do not click yes. Click no. For I already have my sprites export, so we can ignore this. Now here we can look around at the sprites. So for this, I'll just look at Anton. I'm just going to add an underscore to the end so we can see everything else. Without like Anton, Anton Ball or Anton's dog. So, for example, we have his jump, his run, crouch, all that fun stuff. So then, once you have all the sprites exported, you want to open up a program. For this, I'll be using a sprite. Now, I already have some stuff done. So here's like here's Bill from if you know you probably know him from my Pizza Tower test run videos of him. I've decided to mod him into Anton Ball Deluxe as well because I got bored. So once you have your sprite done, uh. You want to go back to Undertale Mod Tool, go to Scripts, Resource Repackers, and then Import Graphics. Click Yes, and then you should have your sprites, your set custom sprites, in a folder that is that has a different name than this one. I'll just I just named mine Custom Sprites. If you get anything like this, just ignore this because um. I don't know why this happened when this image worked perfectly fine for me. So then I just click yes, and now we have the sprites l looking just fine. Now this works more better than just like, for example, clicking on the sprite. And then clicking import. Because if you click to import here, that would just make it blurry, and we don't want that. So then once the sprites are in, you want to click save, and save it to the uh, place where the data.win is located. And now we'll open up Anthon Ball Deluxe. And it works. If it didn't work for you, please leave a... Um, Leave a comment because I will try to respond to as many comments as possible. If I if this video somehow blows up, I might not be able to respond to every comment. So just pray I do respond or somebody else does it for you. So now as you see, all the sprites are working just the way I wanted them to. He moves around. He's doing a little jig. Yeah, hopefully that taught you something today. And remember, this can work for games like Pizza Tower. So if you want to make a Pizza Tower mod of a completely new character, go for it. This is how you do it. And of course, the program I used was A-Sprite. It's 20 bucks on Steam. However, it is very worth the payment of just 20 bucks. Paying 20 bucks is incredibly worth it. It's a great program, and I highly recommend it. Alright, well that's everything. Have a good day or night, whatever time it is over there for you. Have a good whatever. Peace.